Hi, welcome back to True Crime Revealed. In today's episode, we're going to talk about the Sleeping Beauty murders, the Elaine Campioni story. This story has disturbing content, so viewer discretion is advised. You will have only to the stroke of twelve, and the spell will be broken, and everything will be as it was before. It's like a dream, a wonderful dream come true. It's no secret that girls love Disney princesses. Some of the most popular Disney princesses are Cinderella, Belle, and Sleeping Beauty. This was no different for three-year-old Serena and 19-month-old Sophia. They lived in Barrie, Ontario, the daughters of Leo and Elaine Campioni. Leo and Elaine were going through a bitter custody battle, and the girls were living only with Elaine at the time. Elaine Campioni recorded a series of video diaries in the months leading up to the murders. This included the morning of her three-year-old daughter, Serena's third birthday. She woke up telling them how much she loved them. They got dressed up in their princess dresses and watched Sleeping Beauty. She said in the video over and over how much she loved them and the chilling details in knowing what happened in the coming months is utterly shocking. I'm going to play a clip from the morning of Serena's birthday, just a few months prior to the murders. Hi, Serena. It's August 8th, 2006. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Serena. Happy birthday to you. Serena's three today. Yay! What do you think, Sophia? Are you sing happy birthday? No? I'm three! You're three today! Yay! Shall we go to the living room and see if you've got any birthday presents from the birthday fairies? Yes! Okay, let's go. I got a What is it? It's a bike! What are you watching you? Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping Beauty? Uh-huh. How does Mama much? Does Mama love you? This much. Oh, I love you more than that. How much does Mama love you? Can you see mommy? It's my stroller! Oh, you see the stroller. Okay, is there mommy? Yes. <laughs> Hi! Uh, see how the camcorder works? Look. Yeah, it's the fireworks! <laughs> Look. Hi! Hey! <laughs> is that mommy? Hi! Mm -hmm. um, yes, mommy's right here. <laughs> you can't see through the camera, boo hoo. <laughs> oh, yes, this is a deplorable, horrible, messy, filthy apartment that supposedly my two children and I live in, and it's just a horrible, horrible mess. Yeah. I think Diego Campioni is totally in the wrong, and I hope he burns in hell for all his sins. The same as Leonardo. All I wanted to do was take care of my two little girls and live happily ever after, after the three years of physical, emotional, and mental abuse that I endured tremendously by Leonardo Campioni. And then the past year from Anna and Diego Campioni, the mental and emotional abuse, which was not stop. And I had CAS keep bringing these two people into my life over and over again when I kept telling them the amount of mental and emotional abuse it was causing my three-year-old daughter Serena and I and Sophia. It was horrible and uncalled for. 
I want justice to my family for what they have all done to us. I cried out for help. They should have charged him for the assaults he did to me, the assaults he did to my, si my oldest daughter, Serena, and they did nothing, nothing for us. Instead, they gave him more and more rights. This is unfair and cruel, and so many women go through this, and it's not fair. We should have been allowed to leave and go home and heal with my family, who, by the way, were foster parents, who have CS clearance, unlike his family, who are immigrants who lie and steal and do everything horrible, and associate with very bad criminal people. My family doesn't. My family are all upstanding citizens. But yet, he and his family get all the rights. And my poor three-year-old, I do everything to protect. And what are you saying, Sophia? What do you want? Please? Hey, Serena? Who loves you? Mommy. Who loves you the most? That much? Oh, I think I love you more than that. Elaine Campioni in the coming months would continue to be in a nasty and bitter custody battle with husband Leo Campioni. It got so bad that on October 2nd, 2006, this would be the day the girl's mother decided to murder them. There's footage of the girls twirling and dancing, having a good time in the coming months, but when October 2nd came, in 2006, that would be the end of the fairy tale. In movies like Sleeping Beauty, there's always an evil queen or an evil witch that is there to ruin the lives or at least attempt to ruin the lives of the princess. But in this particular sad true story, the monster was the girl's actual mother. On the day of October 2nd, 2006, Campioni decided that she wanted to murder her daughters. She decided that she wanted to drown them and then take an overdose to kill herself as well. Two days later, she awoke and realized that she had not successfully killed herself, but that her two princesses, her two sleeping beauties, were dead. Campioni drowned the girls, and it said that she told them to hold their head underwater and to continue blowing bubbles. She held their head underwater until, unfortunately, they died. She even put them in white dresses, curled their hair, and put their hands together and laid them both on her bed to rest. It stated that she even gave them jewelry as well because those were her beautiful sleeping beauties. She would wait an entire 33 hours after waking up before notifying the authorities, telling them that she killed Serena, age three, and Sophia, 19 months, because she stated, my babies don't belong to him, they belong to me. She meant here that she should have her babies, but not her estranged husband, Leo. Now, there are statements claiming that Leo was abusive to Elaine and that that kind of drove her to doing this senseless, heinous act. But in my opinion, there is no excuse. Those are your daughters, your babies, your princesses. You should have never put hands on them. She should have contacted the authorities and done all that she could to make sure that she gets custody of her children and work that out through the courts as best as she can. But no, she decided to kill her two daughters and then goes on a crazy tyrant video explaining why she did it and that her husband should be quote unquote happy now. So I'm going to go ahead and play a clip of that video, and then I'll be back. 
recording this because Leo there, are you happy? Everything is gone, gone. You wouldn't give peace. You wouldn't tell the truth. I beg. You would not stay soon not believing me till later I had to sign papers when I didn't. I went to victim witness to get the truth. Try is begging everyone the truth. How you beat me for three years behind closed doors. Beat me when I was pregnant with Serena and Sophia. You didn't care about our babies. You didn't care about me. You didn't care about yourself. All you did was hurt us. And you hit Serena. And the idea that you could actually have my children. God believes me. And God's taking care of them now. You're protected by God, thank God, and thank you, because there's no way I could have them with you, you're a hideous monster, there's nothing wrong with me mentally, there isn't, I'm scared of you, I'm scared of everything, of your family, everything you've told me over the years is the truth, and I'm just going to God, because God is the only one who cares and he can protect me. Because you are the devil, Leo. You are the psychotic devil. And I should have stayed away from you the first time you beat me when I was first met you when I was, what, 21, 22? I should have ran away from you far then. At least the girls and I will be together in heaven, protected and safe from you. And you can't hurt us, you can't torture us, you can't bother me anymore. You can't sit there and control me. You have me locked into a county where I have no friends, no family. Look at the photographs, Leo. My kids were happy. They were happy with me. I was a great mom. I did everything with these kids. I took them to playgroups. I took them everywhere. I did tons of crafts with them. <laughs> Sang songs with them all the time. did everything. Everything that CS told me to do. And I begged and begged and begged everyone to help me get out of this province away from you because you and your family are psychotic. <laughs> and all you guys did was torture me. Anne is sitting there telling me if I didn't give my kids to you, if I won't go back to you, to give the kids to you that you guys could give them so much more. Anna abused you, Diego abused you as a child, and you know it, Leo, because look at you. Look, at, look deep down at you, you know what happened to you as a child. My parents never hit me, they never hurt me. They were always supportive, they were always loving to me, and I miss them terribly, terribly. And I wanted my babies to be with a loving family. <laughs> and you denied that, you denied everything. Now you deal with it. You deal with it for the rest of your life. You look in the mirror and you look at yourself and say, if only you had told the truth. All I wanted you to do was tell the truth. You wanted to win, you won. Are you happy? How does it make you feel? That video was very disturbing to say the least, but that was the video that the police and the detectives recovered in 2006, October, after she had killed her daughters. So she was, of course, arrested and taken in. She, in court, pleaded not guilty by saying that she wasn't criminally responsible. Her defense actually argued that she dealt with severe mental illnesses and she had previously been admitted to psychiatric wards and attempted to kill herself and supposedly was delusional. Some people believed that someone um, said that she believed that someone was out to kill her and steal her daughters. Um, so that was a lot of what was going on was just the mental illness angle that the defense tried to take for Elaine. The prosecution, however, contended that Elaine knew what she was doing at the time, despite her mental health issues. In the end, however, in court, a jury did find her guilty on two counts of first-degree murder in November of 2010. At the time, she was 35 years old and she was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole after 25 years. And so Elaine was also permitted escorted temporary absences from prison to attend church in 2019 and also going to mental health 
rehabilitation programs. The parole board decided after this learning that she had gotten a college diploma in business and taken part in voluntary workshops. They believed Elaine had shown some personal growth. So that is the story of the Sleeping Beauties, beautiful Serena and Sophia Campioni. This story, while disturbing, I did want to put it out there just because I am a Disney fan. I love Disney. Sleeping Beauty was one of those movies that I always loved as a kid. And I never knew that this story existed with these poor babies who were killed at the hands of their own mother all over a custody battle. So I did want to put that video out. I'm going to be working on some more videos and trying to upload them more frequently, more so on a weekly basis. So if you guys have any ideas of stories that you guys are interested in and would like for me to do, feel free to put them in the comment section. Of course, like and subscribe and share, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye now.